what's up guys it's your girl chanel nicole and i am back with another video in today's video guys i am going to be doing a story time i've never done a story time before so i hope you guys enjoy because i don't know if i'll do another but anyways i'm gonna jump right into this video so stay tuned and pay attention okay so let's before we get started i got me some cheetos y'all gonna be hearing and seeing me much on throughout the video and i have me some good old frozen fruit punch so, I'm about to jump right into it, guys. I'm trying to make sure that the angle and stuff is good. I don't have my glasses on. That's why I'm squeeing my eyes too real bad. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to jump right into this video. So, as you guys may know, uh, I mean, as you guys may see by the title, I'm going to be doing the first time I found out I was pregnant at five months. So, I'm going to jump right into it. <clears throat> okay, guys, so... I worked, I worked for a long time, um, I'm not going to say where I work, which it doesn't matter, but, I mean, it does really don't, but, I worked at this place, it was a plant, I'm just going to say that, I worked at a plant for a long time, and, um, I worked there for a long time, okay, so, I'm trying to figure out how to make this, you know, PG, I'm trying to make see how to make this story time for everybody. Okay, but anyway, um, like I said, I worked at a um plant, and I had a best friend at the time at the plant where I worked, and I told her basically almost everything. I tell almost everything, almost <laughs> everything to people. Now everything, but almost everything. That's why I said. I don't know if I'm going to do another story time. But anyway, guys, that's enough rambling. Let me just get right to the point. Okay, so like I said, I worked at a plant and... um, Okay, hold on. Scratch that. I'm going to start from right here. So, normally I get up for work like around 6. Between 6, 6.30. Something like that. Had to be to work at 8. And I would get ready. I always was just so just energetic and just so filled with energy so i always was you know just on that level or whatever so suddenly i started feeling like i did not want to get up i did not want to move the mornings became more and more hard for me more and more difficult for me and um i couldn't understand why i just knew that my body was just feeling kind of icky but you know as a female as a woman a person you know your body and even though you might not want it to know that, but you still know your body. And I didn't really, I didn't really think it was that, guys. I can't really just get into t details. So, yeah, I'll just read between the lines and stay with me. Okay, so, um, like I said, I was kind of feeling really bad in the mornings or whatever. And I couldn't understand why. I just thought that I needed some vitamins. <laughs> I just thought that I needed some vitamins and it was just a lack of energy and I, I just felt like work was kind of like wearing and tearing on me. So, that's what I was thinking it was or whatever. Um, I always looked at my body, but as you guys know, I'm healthy anyways and I got big thingies up here. But I always looked at my body, but I never just felt no type of way about my stomach, you know. I just never really, I don't know. I just never really felt no type of way about my stomach, guys. So, um, we went to one day on this particular morning. We were at work. And me and my friend, I had called her to the warehouse. No, I was in a warehouse with someone that, that also worked there. And I was in a warehouse back there with them. And we were just back there talking. And I had, all of a sudden, my side started hurting me, like, really, 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 really bad. And I thought that maybe, you know, I needed to drink more water and all this stuff. Because, as y'all know, I always got me some some juice. So, I just thought that I needed to drink more water. So, my side just started hurting me really, really bad. So, I had told my friend at the time, I was like, um... My side keep hurting me. I said, it's not the first rodeo with my side hurting me. 
Um, it's just like it's I just really feel bad. And and keep in mind, guys, also I'm telling you guys about my mornings, but my evenings when I came home, I showered, ate ate tons of pickles <laughs> and immediately went to sleep. And I still, you know, just was just whatever. I still did not you know, I just didn't guess anything. And I really did. And then all of a sudden, like I said, going back. Okay, we're going back. We're going back up. So I, I had told my friend at the time, I was like, um, yeah, I need to go to the doctor. And she was like, why? Your side hurting like, like that bad? And I was like, yeah, I said, not only that, I said, I think, um, I think I might need to take a pregnancy test. So she busted out laughing. She's like, a pregnancy test? So I was like, yeah, I think I need to take a pregnancy test. I was like, I don't feel right. I know my body. And she's like, I don't think you need to take no pregnancy test. But if you think you need to take one, we're going to get you one or whatever. So I was like, okay, because I really think I need to take a pregnancy test. So um, the same evening, the day of work, I had went to the restroom. And I was in the restroom. I don't know. Because I was so sensitive while I was pregnant. And I should have known, but I did kind of know. But like I said, I had went to the restroom. And I had started like getting really 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 choked up and when i got so choked up i had ended up vomiting i know i'm sorry i ended up vomiting or whatever and i was like oh my god i really need to go to the doctor so i still was just gonna wait till my friend got the pregnancy test or whatever so i went home and um i couldn't sleep like i was hurting so Oh, freaking bad. It's not even funny. I was hurting so bad, yeah. Like, my side, oh, my God, I was hurting so bad. And I, I just thought that I had a urinary tract infection. I don't know. I just was really, really, really in pain. I could not even bear it anymore. I couldn't even sleep in my bed at the time. In our old house, I had a couch in my bedroom. And I had to get on the couch. And I balled up. You know how you sleep. With your duke up in the air. That's how I was sleeping on the couch. Because that was the only way that was comfortable for me. And I knew immediately that it was definitely something. So, I um the next morning, I went to... The next morning, I went to work. I mean, I didn't go to work. I went to the um emergency room. And um they were just doing too much there. So, I ended up going to the urgent care place that we have here. So, I went there or whatever and... They were telling me when I was back there, they made me do, you know, the blood test, pee test, all of that good stuff. So, he came back in the room and he was like, um, Miss Yum Yum. He was like, you're pregnant. I was like, huh? I said, oh my God, this got to be a prank. But he was like, yep, according to my OBGYN skills and stuff, I think you're about five months pregnant. So, I was like, what? Uh-uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> So, I immediately went into shock, guys. I was just so nervous. I started walking back and forth. I thought, <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I thought Ashton Kutcher was in the hallway. I thought I was being punked. I did not know what was going on. But, at the end of the day, I'm not acting like, you know, with things. Yeah, anyway. So, I was just like, huh? So, they was like, yeah. Um, you're pregnant. It's like, is anybody else here with you? And I was like, yeah, my mom is or whatever. And they was like, oh, okay, good. Is she driving? So I was like, yeah. So it's like, um, we need you to go over to the, um, other clinic <coughs> and get this and that and that and that done. So I was like still in, I was still shocked. I was still in denial and all of that stuff. But and we went over to the, um, other doctor where I had him at and um I heard his heartbeat and I started believing it kind of sort of I still wasn't really 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 believing it but then I started believing because guys I was like so sh I was so shocked and in denial so um probably like a week later I had to I went back and um um, no, and I was at that appointment, the same, you know, when they sent me over to that doctor, they got me started on my prenatal and all this stuff, you know, if y'all have been pregnant or know anybody that's been pregnant, you know how that goes, so they did all of that, 
and I went back a week later so they can tell me what I was see if they can see what I was having and all of that stuff and it was just so so crazy I just I think the whole time when I was working it just coming home from work and stuff I was just like in denial I really kind of knew but I did not kind of want to think that that was it but it was and I don't regret anything or whatever because keep in mind I was grown all along anyways I was like 34 years old so it wasn't really just you know I was grown so you know but still just to be that I know I was 33 to be that far in age because I don't know, guys. I I kind of didn't want to be in my 30s raising a baby, but things happen. There's nothing I can do about it. He's here now, and I take very good care of him. So, that's besides the point or whatever. But um, the whole moral of this story, like I said, me finding out that I was pregnant at five months, I kind of knew, but I didn't. I kept working, um, but I ended up start working like um, some time before my baby shower. I can go back, but I really, really can't, guys. So, I, I I just can't really think that far back to give you all details. And like I said, I'm not going to do too much detailing of this. Because it was more and more, more details than this. But I'm just giving you guys this scoop. But, um, to my people out there. <laughs> when your body tells you something, believe your body. Believe your body and just immediately go get yourself checked or whatever and handle your business because nine times out of ten when your body tells you something, it is what it is. And um it was that for me. And like I said, I never really imagined becoming a mom. I always knew that I wanted to be one, but I never kinda imagined that I would. But you know, what God has for us is for us, and you cannot stop what God is going to do. So, I thank God for allowing my baby boy to come into my life because he has truly, truly changed me and showed me so many different things and obstacles of life. And he is my first love, and I love him with all my heart with his little bat, but he's in the room with his grandma. But, um, yep, I, I found out that I was five months pregnant like, I found out I was five months pregnant when I was working. And I knew it was something, but I really just kind of tried to ignore it and didn't think that it was that. But I know I really didn't get too into detail with this with this story time, guys. But I still hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. And I keep looking that way, guys, because my door is over there, of course. And I just, just keep looking over that way. No big deal. But, um... Yep, I um like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I uh, kind of opened up with you guys and told you some real true facts about my life. What kind of happened when I because I, I didn't know I was pregnant with Logan. In case I have, I did not say that to you guys in an earlier video that I made when I first started my channel. I'm saying it now. I did not know that I was pregnant with Logan until I was five months. So. With that being said, like I said, when your body tells you something, guys, believe it. Whether you are a young person, a teenager, or older person around my age, believe it because it, it it's, it's true. But anyway, guys, I am signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this first story time. And I hope you guys can get me to 100 subscribers. I hope you guys can get this video to at least... 30 to 35 likes and I will give you guys another story time and like I said in my previous video that you guys have probably already seen if you have a comment or if you want to say something drop it down below guys because I'm not going to feel no type of way I want you guys to communicate with me whether you want to say something positive or negative but I hope it's positive I'm here for it guys so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said I am signing out and I am gone.